We're doing three. Hello? This is a very, very special day for me, I want you to know. It's special for a lot of reasons. The main reason is this is my first time in the stream, streaming to you out there in the world. And I'm very happy to be doing that today. And the most important thing is that you're here. And you might be from the Northwest Territories, or you might be from Ontario, or you might come from Chilliwack, Jack. If you do, I think you should know that you're here. And I'm so glad you are. Oh, you're here. Well, let's just see how far. Oh, 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 you're here. 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 couldn't go to school, you had to stay at home, but you might be up in a tree, then you wouldn't get to hear my poem, you're here, and I think that's so fine, oh, you're here, well, let's just do some time, oh, 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 you're here, oh, 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 you're here. Prime Minister of Canada, you might be a snowflake, or you might be the one who invented ice cream. If you are, I think you should take a big bow. Applause, applause, applause. Oh, you're here. I guess it's just because. Oh, 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 you're here. Oh, 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 you're here. You might think the world stinks. You might be afraid if you so much as blink, you'll sink into the drink and become extinct. No, you're here, and we got a minute or two. Oh, you're here. Well, let's just do the do. here and I'm here and my name is Rick Scott and I am standing on a porch, a beautiful porch, on a tiny island in the middle of the Salish Sea off the west coast of Canada. I'm just curious where everybody else is. I know some people are in Japan right now and some of the people watching are in America and some are all across Canada and there's even a few in Europe. So this is pretty exciting but I bet there's somebody out there who's watching this right now. Maybe you've never seen me play before. And you're going like this. You're going. It's called a dulcimer. En Francais, le dulcimer. And it's, it's a very unusual instrument. I'm just tuning up a little bit here. It's a very unusual instrument. It, one of the only instruments ever invented in the United States. And I could go on and on and on about it, but I think what better I should do is just sit here and say, hi, I'm Rick. I'd like to say a few words about this instrument that I play. It's a strange looking thing, that's for sure. What it's called is a dulcimer. En français, the dulcimer. You see, hundreds of years before you and me, in the hills of Kentucky, Tennessee, in the southeast part of the USA, the folks down there wanted something to play, like a bag, like a guitar. It had to be easy. Oh, yes, it did. 
So they looked around for what they had that was good. What they had was trees. What they had was wood. They cut one down on for three or four strings. And let me tell you, folks, it was a beautiful thing. It sounded like angels. It made people dance. I had to have one. Ooh, yes, I did. So me and the dulcimer went Canada way. And naturally, we just started to play. A dulcimer did what a dulcimer does. The folks weren't sure just what it was. I tried to tell them. I said, it's a music machine. They thought it was something else. And then one day up in the Yukon, the dulcimer and I were putting a show on. So I asked the kids if they knew its name, but all the answers were all the same. A guitar, a mandolin, a piano. What? And then a boy in the back raised up his hand. He stood right up. He made a stand. He shouted out something too good to be true. He said, I know what it is. It's an electric snowshoe. Sure. Why not? I like that name. No, yes I do. And so that's the story of the electric snowshoe. And I hope that you have learned a thing or two. Because the next time you see me, the story I'm telling is about my intergalactic watermelon. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually the end of the song. Thanks for listening. Oh, I wish there was a fiddle player right here because right now they go. <laughs> and that's the story of the electric snowshoe. And now I'd like to do a song that I've been playing for so many years now. And the reason I love this song and the reason this song is so special is because I made it up after my son, George, came home from his first day at school. And I said, George, how was your first day at school? And he was just so happy and he loved it and everything. But the thing he liked the most was he made a new friend. And he was going on and on about his new friend. He was the kindest kid. He was fun to be with. He shared his toys. It was a great thing. And then he said, and he has the biggest ears in the world. And I was, what? He has the biggest ears in the world, Daddy. Really? Are they really the biggest ears? Yes, Daddy. If he was here right now and it was raining, he could wrap his ears around us and we would be dry. <laughs> well, I thought, well, that's great. That's great. And then my son, George, made up a poem about this, this wonderful friend that he had. And so I took that poem, I added a few words, and I made up this song. It's called, My Friend Has the Biggest Ears in the World. And for all the people out there in the world, that don't know my friend has the biggest ears in the world, I will teach you the chorus, and then we can do the most beautiful version of my friend has the biggest ears in the world that's ever been sung in the world. I'm very excited about this. So just repeat after me. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend has the biggest ears in the world, has the biggest ears in the world, yeah. till north is south and east is west till north is south and east is west my friend and his ears are the best my friend here we go my friend my friend my friend my friend together now has the biggest ears in the world till north is south and east is west, my friend, and his ears are the best. They are so huge. Well, one day we were playing, we got hit by a terrible storm. So he wrapped his ears around us with room to spare. And we were laughing and we were dry and we were warm. My friend, my friend, now together, has the biggest ears in the world. Still together, till north 
this south and east is west, my friend, and his ears are the best. They are so awesome. Well, they flap in the wind, and we're afraid he might blow away. But he makes them like wings. We all climb on board, fly away to our own holiday. My friend, my friend, now together, has the biggest ears in the world. Till north is south and east is west, my friend, and his ears are the best. Cause he's my friend, he's my best buddy, my best buddy, has the biggest ears in the world. Till north is south and east is west, my friend. And his ears are the best. Oh, my friend. And his ears are the best. That was beautiful singing. Thank you very, very much. In these times that we live in now, it's always good to think about our friends. Because our friends are the people that we can talk to. We can tell our friends how we're feeling and our, if you have a really good friend, they'll listen to what you have to say. And sometimes your friend can be a, a classmate and sometimes your friend can be your next door neighbor. Sometimes your friend can just be a pet that you have. And I know when I was growing up, my, my friend was a dog. I had a dog that I could just tell my dog all my troubles and my dog would go like he understood what I was saying. So I would like to now do a song for all the dogs out there that have been so good, that have been so patient for us and been our best friends and been there to protect us and bark when there's strangers coming and saying, look out, look out, or giving you a big kiss or a hug when you need it. And this song is called, you'll never guess, wait for it, Dog. So uh, in case you don't know, the chorus is we're going to spell dog, right? D-O-G. And yeah, that's if you'd spell it with me, that'd be great. And then all the dogs in the world will hear it and they'll be happier, I think. So the other thing about dogs that I really like is sometimes when they breathe, they breathe like this, which is hard for me to do. But I've seen dogs do it for a long time. They're just So I threw that into this song, too, just to just to have some fun. If you want to pant along with me, oh, we could call it a pantomime. No, not a good joke. OK, here we go. Dog. the ball or I could catch a stick. All you got to do is say, hey, go fish. I could be a part of all of your games. I'd even wait for you in the pouring rain. And when it's late at night, you don't have to worry. I'll be there for you. So safe and hurry. There is just one thing I ask of you on second thought. There's two. Spell it. D oh. G. I'd like to go for a walk. Mm, the stories you could tell if only you humans could talk. Spell it with me now. D oh. G. I'd like something to eat. And you would understand if only you could stand in my four feet. Boom. Well, I would wait for you every day to come home i even call you up but i don't know how to use a telephone ring ring now who could that be you pick up your phone and whoop you know it's me 
And if there's thunderstorms, you don't have to worry. I'll be there for you. So safe and free. There is just one thing I'd ask of you. On second thought, there's two. Spell B. Oh, gee, I'd like to go for a walk. All the stories you could tell if only you humans could talk. I spell it again, D. Oh, gee, I'd like something to eat. And you would understand if only you could stand in my four feet. Oh, yes, you would understand if only you could stand. You would understand if only you could stand. You would understand if only you could stand in my four feet. That one is for the dogs or the cats. You can adjust it to how you like it. But now I want to do a song about, you know, seeing how a lot of us are home right now. And you're thinking, well, what could I do? Well, maybe the next time you're sitting there at the, at the table and you're going to have dinner, lunch, breakfast, or you're just sitting at the table and you notice there's a knife and a fork and a spoon or maybe a chopstick or two. And you got a plate and you got a glass and you got all kinds of things on the table and you're sitting there and there's nothing to do and it's kind of boring. Well, you could pick up that fork and maybe you just start tapping it on the glass a little bit of that tink, 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 kind of a hi hat kind of sn little thing you got going there. I don't know, that sounds good. And then somebody sitting at the table with you says, Well, wait a minute, I'll pick up the butter knife here and I'm going to tap it on the plate and give a little snare drum thing like a. Next thing you know, somebody comes running out of the kitchen and they've got a big old mixing bowl and they've got a wooden spoon and they're banging on it, giving you that bottom line, that boom, 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 boom. You got the tink, tank, tank, tank. And next thing you know, you have a band going. And this band is a phenomenon. Nobody knows how it started, but it's going now. It's got cooking time going. Everybody's playing away. And it's called the Fry Pan Saucepan Mixing Bowl Band, the greatest band ever. If you want to join the band right now, I'll tell you all you got to do is I'm going to say Fry Pan, and you say Fry Pan. And then I'm going to say Saucepan, and you say Saucepan. And then together, as one band that has rehearsed for hours and hours, we will all say together, Mixing Bowl Band. It's going to go by quickly, so let's practice it. I'm going to go fry pan, fry pan, sauce pan, sauce together. Mixing bowl pan, hey, fry pan, fry pan, sauce pan, sauce pan, mixing bowl pan. Who you sitting there cooking up a musical treat. It sounds so good and it sounds so sweet. The fry pan, sauce pan, mixing bowl pan. my own shoe decided to save my soul and there was only one thing to do well i tiptoed down to the kitchen and i turned on the kitchen light yeah but there between me and the ice box was this unbelievable sight it was a fry pan, fry pan sauce pan put together mixing both that yeah fry pan sauce pan Mixing bowl band, hey, you sit there cooking up a musical treat. It sounds so good enough to eat. Fry pan, sauce pan, mixing bowl band. Grandma was sitting at the table, keeping time with a wooden spoon. My next door neighbor had a blender. And he was playing Claire de Lune. Everybody's tapping on plates and glasses, but the coolest thing of all was little baby Zeke 
his bowl of cream of wheat, which he was throwing up against the wall. It was the fried pan, saucepan, mixing bowl that come on, young fried pan, saucepan, yeah, mixing bowl band. Hey, you sit there cooking up a musical treat. It sounds so good and it sounds so sweet. The fried pan, saucepan, mixing bowl band. There's a whole lot of people that are hungry. You know what I would like to do? I cook up a batch of their favorite dish, a little like a worldwide stew. And I would serve it up whenever they want some. Now, 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 wouldn't that be grand? Yeah, well, don't sit back. You got a path to smack. Because now you're in that band. What band? Ha, the fry pan. Sauce pan. Hey, mixing bowl band. Hey, fry pan. Sauce pan. Mixing bowl band. Ooh, you're sitting there cooking up a musical treat. It sounds so good and it sounds so sweet. The fry pan, sauce pan, mixing bowl band. All right, let's do it right here, right now. I'm sure you're sitting at the table or somewhere in your house. Now maybe there's a spoon, maybe there's a stick, maybe there's something you can hit to make a little rhythm. I know I've got it right here on this porch, I just feel it coming on. So you pick up them sticks, you start laying it down, yeah. So it's time for a little solo around the world. Everybody's going to tap, oh grown up, if you have a set of keys, heavy metal. So are we ready? Are you ready in Japan? Are you ready in Texas? Are you ready in Europe and all across Canada and America? Here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, rock. Hey. Ooh. Sounds all right. Yay. Yeah. Oh. Black pen. South pen. Mixing bowl. We just had a fry pan saucepan mixing bowl band. It was great. Who was that? So I don't know. That was the miss. Actually, that was my my good good friend Anthony, who has been setting up the microphones and all the stuff we I need to make this show happen. And I just needed a drummer, and I know he's a really good drummer. But I'm sure you were really good too. So we had a rocking time on that one, didn't we? I think we. Now. You might notice that when I'm singing or when I'm talking to you, I move my face around a lot. <laughs> and I've been doing that, oh, I've been doing that for a long, 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 long time. And in fact, sometimes when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is I exercise my face. Now, the reason I do that is because you, I, I don't know if you're like this, but I'm in the morning, it takes me a little bit of time to get going and be in the the beautiful Rick Scott that I know I can be. Usually when I wake up in the morning and I look in the mirror, I'm looking at this. It doesn't look too good. So that's when I decide, okay, I'm going to do my exercises and I exercise my face, you know, and I just start staring in the mirror and I slowly start to exercise. It's fun. It's healthy. That's about it. <laughs> it's just fun to do. And I love to make faces. And I thought, well, you have sing-alongs and you have play-alongs. I wonder if you could have a face-along. Yeah. So I, I'm going to try. I've never tried this before. And and I just know it'll work because I, I'm, I'm feeling 
I'm feeling like I know who's out there. <laughs> I can't see you, but I can I can feel you in my heart. And I I bet we could do an incredible face along. So what I'll do is I'm going to play a little song. It's called Making Faces. And I'll call out the face. And we'll both try to make it at the same time. It's going to go by pretty quick. But, you know, I want to see what you look like when you're happy. I want to look like, see what you look like when you're bored. You know, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try and do that. <laughs> Good luck to me. Because every day I do my exercises not the way you think. I do them in the bathroom, in the mirror, over the sink. I brush my teeth, I wash my face. Then I comb my hair till I look like someone just like me. Then I start to stare. I move my lip just a little bit, put my eyebrows in the air. I can't wait to see all the faces I can be. All right, let's try it. I'll call it out. You make the face with me, okay? Now let's see happy. Now let's see sad. Now let's be silly. Now let's get mad. Let's act suspicious. Let's find the clue. I'm so amazed at all the funny things your face can do. And what's amazing is I can do them too. Oh, I can do them too. Make a face anytime, any place. Over your poop, I Over your poop, I muscles in their face. There are quite a few of them in one small rounded place. It takes eight to make a smile, sixteen to make a frown, four to blink, two to wink, five to get your eyebrows up and down. I got a hunch it takes a bunch to scrunch your nose. I can't wait to see all the faces we can be. All right, let's pretend this is the facial Olympics, and we represent Canada. Hooray! Now let's be serious. Now be a goof. Now let's get curious. Now act a loop. Let's take a mouthful. Let's see you chew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Funny things your face can do. And what's amazing is I can do them too. Oh, I can do them to make a face at any time or any place. Boobity poop ba da, boobity poop ba, boobity poop ba da, beep poop ba, boobity poop ba da, boobity poop ba, boobity poop ba da, beep poop ba, beep poop ba, beep poop ba, beep poop ba, yeah oh, beep poop ba, beep poop ba yeah yeah yeah. You can't do them to come on now make a great big face. <laughs> I wonder how that worked. Well, we'll never know, will we? <laughs> oh, I want to give I want to give a bit of a shout out to some of my friends at the Down Syndrome Resource uh, Foundation, DSRF. Uh, that's for all the people that I've been working with for more than 25 years now, we've been together. It's a wonderful organization. And I was introduced to it through my granddaughter, Miel. When she was born, I got involved. And it's just a, a great organization here in Canada. 
And I am officially, I have an official title too. I'm the Goodwill Ambassador, uh, which is a very high honor for me. And as the Goodwill Ambassador, I thought, well, I got to do something that's good. So maybe, and I thought, maybe I can make up a song. And I decided, now, how do I make up a song about this thing called Down Syndrome? And I started hanging out with making friends with people with Down Syndrome, kids, grown-ups. And the thing that kept going through my mind while I was hanging out and being a part of their world was that I was, I was sitting with angels. They were just so much fun to be with and, you know, just people like me. They were sad, they were happy, they were laughing, they were crying, just like I do. But there was something about them that made me feel like I was, I was close to something that really mattered in my heart. And so I'm very happy to be the Goodwill Ambassador of the Down Syndrome Resource Foundation. And I made up this little song. And I'd like you to sing it with me, if you would. It sounds really great when everybody's singing it. And all you got to do is look at somebody, if there's somebody with you right now. But even if there's not, you can look at me. And you just look and you say, You look like these angels do. Now, the person that's with you might look back at you and think, What are they talking about? Say it again. You look like these angels do. Ah, then they get it and they look right back at you and they say, angels look just like you. That's it. You ready? Because you look like these angels do. Let's try again. You look like these angels do. And angels look just like you. I'm going to tune up a little bit because I think the humidity here has decided that I'm not in tune and I want to be in tune. Can you hear that? It's just not quite right. And I have a tuner right here that's saying, no, Rick, it's not quite right. So this little moment in our show is called reality. Can you say reality? That's what's happening to me right now. I'm tuning just for you. Because I want to get it right. I always thought they had a big old set of wings and flowing robes that would never, never cling. Played on harps that had at least a dozen strings and hung around in groups to sing and sing. But you look like these angels do. Come on, say it. You look like these angels do. And angels look just like you. Now, Miel taught me this next part. Go like this. You go, ha, ha, yeah. You try it. Ha, ha, yeah. And stretch it out. Ha, ha, without a care and hang around in clouds that floated in the air and if they lost a the part they always had a spare and which you must admit is really rather rare but you look like these angels do come on sing now you look like these angels do And angels look just like you. There we go now. Ha ha yeah. Ha yeah.
I always thought they had a halo on their head. You just you write it like you're reading in your bed. I don't believe it, but you know I've heard it said. To be an angel first, you must be dead. No, yo. Look like these angels do. Now you do. You sing like one, two. Come on now. You look like these angels do. And angels look just like There we go! Ha ha yeah! Help me out! Ha ha yeah! Help yourself! Ha ha! join the choir, they could join the band, they originate in many different lands, and do not worry, because they always understand, that when the music's hot, they clap their hands, and you look like these angels do, oh, you look like these angels do, yes you do, you really, really do. And angels look just like you. Ha ha yeah, ha yeah, ha ha yeah. Na 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 na. Thank you for singing that song. I'm very special to you, buddy. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I'm having a good time. I'm really having a good time. And I'm having a good time. I always have a good time when I'm playing music, or I would say 99.9% .9 of the time I have a good time playing music. But just thinking about how many people are singing with me right now, even though I can't hear you, I think I can feel you. And that's kind of a new experience and I'm really enjoying it. I know, for instance, I know I have a really dear friend in France right now name is Joe and I know that Joe is singing with me right now and I have another good friend in, in Japan his name is Eddie and Eddie is singing with me right now too I bet and just the idea that I have all these people that I don't even know that are singing with me Whew. you make me happy oh yes you do it's nothing special no it's nothing new, but it's kind of comfy and monthly, like a comfy old shoe. You make me happy, oh yes you do. You make me happy, oh yes you do. I'm happy, ha ha, yes. Ha ha, I am. Oh yeah, you make me so happy. I get so laughy when I'm around you. I get so tickled inside, I don't know what to do. Laughing's good for your guts, that's medically true. Ah, I get so laughy when I'm around you, yeah. I, I, I'm laughing when I'm around you, and I laugh. Ha ha, ha yes. Woo! Ha ha ha, oh yeah, oh yes, I do. I, I, I feel okay to be sad around you. I feel so safe to be totally blue. 
Cause you'll never say there's something else I should do. Oh, I feel okay to be sad around you. Yes, I do. I feel okay to be sad around you. And I get sad sometimes. Yes, I do. My tears start coming up in my eyes. Oh, it's true. How about you? Yeah. Glad to choke you. I'm really glad you're here because you make me happy. Ah, yes, I do. It's something special, yes. It's something new. Kind of complimentary, like an old shoe. I feel so happy when I'm around you. Yes, I do. I feel so happy when I'm around you. I get so happy. I, I, I do. Happy, 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 happy. Yes, I am. I am so happy, happy to be with you, 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 you. Oh, yes, I do. Thank you so much. I am so happy just to be with you. It's really true. It's really, really true. And ah, I have a song that that I I, I wasn't going to do today, but. But I'm going to do it because I had a friend, a friend who asked me if I would do it. And good luck to me because I hardly ever perform this song. Oh, and by the way, about dulcimers, they're actually pretty easy to play. When I first found a dulcimer, it was hanging on a wall, yeah, on a wall. And I, I didn't know what it was. I just, I thought, wow. What a beautiful shape in, in hearts for sound holes. That made sense to me, to have hearts where the sound came out. So I walked over, and it was in a little music store. And the music store was, was owned by a guy named J.R. Stone, Rick Stone, from Boone, North Carolina. This was in Annapolis, Maryland, where I, I walked in his store. He had a store there. And I took that instrument down off the wall, and I just ran my fingers over the strings, didn't no chords, no no, just, and it just sounded so beautiful. And and dulcimers were like that. They just want to they just want to play music with you. They want to play music for you. And if you want to find out more about dulcimers, of course you can go on the computer and you might want to look up dulcimer player news or just put the word dulcimer in there, and you'll find that there's a whole community of people that play the dulcimer and just want to share that with you. They want to share how they play. They want to share you how you tune them how much fun you can have with them. And then you can play a dulcimer and people will go, <laughs> and you can tell them it's a dulcimer. Now, this is a song, like I said, it was, I was asked to do this and, and I have, I've never performed it before. So good luck to me. It's, it's about when I was a kid, when I was a little boy and I'd lie in bed at night and I'd be afraid. And I'd think about, oh, if only I could be a superhero. I could fix everything in the world, and I'd do that. And I decided, I decided that my hero's name was the Mechanic of Love. Yeah. I don't. I, I just thought, oh, the Mechanic of Love. Yeah, he could do anything. So. You could sing on this song with me. I'm sorry, I'm just making this up now. So you could sing on this where, where I'd say, I am, and then you answer, I am, and I'll say, I am, and you can say, I am, and then we can both say, I am the mechanic of love. Yeah, come on, it's fun. So when I was a kid, I'd lie awake at night, and I'd try to find a way to make everything right, and I'd fix the whole world and everything is in it. Job done in under a minute, cause I am. Yes, I am. I am the mechanic of love. Because I am. Yes, I am. I am the mechanic of love. Let me tell you about the mechanic. Mechanics save the people. I just like cars. 
are How funny is that sounds He believes they really are Black or white, green, red All of the above It makes no difference to the mechanic of the love Because I am I am Yes, I am Mechanic of love Because I am Yes, I am clock and it won't tick tock right you got a flat tire on your brand new bike oh don't you worry no don't you panic just pick up your phone and call the mechanic cause I am yes I am I am the mechanic of love cause I am yes I am oh I am the mechanic of love What do you do when a heart gets broken? Or what do you do if a body's broken too? The saw won't cut it. A ruler won't tell you how long it will take. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, may they throw it all down on the road. To say a little prayer, give a little hug. Now, if you want the world to be a better place and you want to run in the human race, put your hand on your heart. Now, what do you see? Now, reach your other hand and repeat after me. You say, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am the mechanic of love. That's with me. Now, go, I am, I am. I am, I am, together I am the mechanic of love, cause I am, yes I am, I am the mechanic of love, because I am, yes I am, oh I am the mechanic of love, keep going, how many go, oh. pretty good so I am uh, well do you have any questions <laughs> or can I just keep playing I'm wondering if there's any any of you out there that are sitting with your grandmother right now you have a grandmother are there any grandmothers out there I bet there are I bet there oh I see a few hands going up Grandmas are the best. Grandpas, well, I'm a grandpa, so I can tell you it's a great, great thing to be a grandparent. And my grandma was special to me. My grandma, wow, she was great. She she made the best, best cookies ever, ever. And it wasn't just the cookies. If I had something on my mind, if something was bothering me, and I just needed some help working things out, grandma was my go-to. I said, Grandma, I'm just not feeling good today. And she wouldn't say, well, what's wrong with you? Da, 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 da. She'd just give me a big hug, and she'd just sit me down. And she goes, yeah, some days are like that, Ricky. She called me Ricky. <laughs> good grandmas are like that. And everybody has one. They might not be on this earth right now, but they've been around. And if you want to get a grandma at your function, like if you're having a party, Get a grandma to come to your party. It'll be good. And if you don't know how to get a grandma, I have invented, thank you, the grandma trap. And all you have to do to get a grandma is go, oh, grandma. And the grandmas are out there. And they hear that. And they, they put down their chainsaw. And they say, excuse me, but I must stop chopping this tree now and go and be with my friends. And they come to your party or your function and everything is cool. And 
okay, she doesn't want to stop using the chainsaw, but that's okay too. <laughs> I didn't know grandmas could do the chainsaw. But let's see if we can call a few grandmas, okay? Just say it like this, you go, oh, grandma. Just like that, try it. Oh, grandma. So grandma tells me, come on over. So I knock upon her door, just like she's been waiting for me ever since the time before. Exactly like the time before. Oh, grandma. Oh, grandma. Oh, grandma. Oh, grandma. Now grandma serves me lemonade. In my very own special cup Grandma lets me make a mess and Then she helps me clean it up One more time I got to clean it all Oh Grandma Oh Grandma Oh Grandma Oh Grandma And if I have some kind of problem Grandma always understands We play cards finger painting, then I got to go and wash my hands. Grandma's good at snakes and ladders, crazy eights go fishing gin, but when we play Chinese checkers, I think grandma lets me win. I always seem to be the one who wins. Oh grandma, oh grandma. She's been waiting for me ever since the time before. Exactly like the time before. Oh, Grandma. Oh, Grandma. Oh, Grandma. Oh, Grandma. Grandma. We love you, Grandma. Now you can go back to your chainsaw if you want to. <laughs> well, that's about all the time I have today. I hope we can do this again. It's really been, it's it's kind of interesting because, well, usually, you know, all my years that I've been performing, there's been an audience that's right there, like right in front of me. And it's kind of a, a game of back and forth with the audience. And we sing together and we, we feel things together and we kind of make the room the way we want it to be. And this time, my audience is all over the world somewhere, sitting there watching me do this. And and at first I thought, this is going to be tough. This is not going to be easy to, to perform with nobody there to get that back and forth going. But I'm finding it to be quite fun. And I hope you're having a good time, too, with me today, because I would like to do this with you again. Um, but like I say, I got to go. And I want to thank, I also, I want to thank the National Arts Center for, for helping us put this on, uh, for sponsoring me, really. And I want to thank Facebook for letting me have my face here and i want to thank straight music i want to thank the uh, the rbc foundation i want to thank siri um serious let's see serious i want to thank serious um xm for being a part of this and i also i'd like to thank richard and adrian and abigail and sebastian and anthony and valley and all the people that helped me get on this porch and sing to you. I couldn't have done it without them. They are the greatest neighbors and friends. And actually, Nally is my wife. <laughs> and she's been just wonderful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh... Pretty 
Pretty soon, a bell starts ringing, telling me I got to stop singing. So that's the show, that and this goodbye. Music is the best, and I'll say it again, especially when it's with a friend. So if you don't mind, that's what you are to me. So let's just have one more song. It doesn't matter what planet you're on. Come on, come on, and sing it one time with me. Here's what I'd like you to say. It goes like this. Ooh la la la, ooh la la, hey, hey, that's it. Ooh la la la, ooh la la. Hey, hey, now you try it. I hope you got it, because here we go. Ooh, la, 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 ooh, la, la, hey, 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 come on one more time. Ooh, la, 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 ooh, la, la, hey, hey, hey. let me tell you. You try some music if you got the blues Or you're happy with nothing to lose Or thinking about someone who is so far away It will keep you warm when you're feeling cold It can fix your heart it can mend your soul And if you cut your finger, you could sing real loud Oh, what a deal the sail is on, and it doesn't matter what planet you're from. Well, come on, come on, and sing it one time for free. Ooh, yeah, come on, you say, ooh, la, 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 ooh, la, la, hey, 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 yeah, sing your song. Ooh, la, 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 ooh, la, la. Hey, hey, come on, come on, come on now. Ooh la la la, ooh la la. Hey, 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 you feel alright, you sing it. Ooh la la la, ooh la la. Hey, hey, let me tell you something. You know, I never had a chance to go to France. But when I do, I know it's gonna be a radical thing. Yeah. Cause they will say, Parlez-vous Francais. I'll get out my snowshoe and I will play a little song. Then everybody can sing. Yeah. So let's just have one more song. And sing about the love of the planet we're on. Venez, venez, encore une fois, chantez avec moi. <laughs> I think that means, let's sing it one more time. Ooh la la la, ooh la la, hey, 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 yeah, that's good. Ooh la la la, ooh la la, hey. Hey, yeah, sing it, sing it, sing it, ooh la la la, ooh la la, hey, 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 all you got is ooh la la la, ooh la la la, hey, 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 thank you so much, y'all, ooh la la la, ooh la la, hey, hey, take care of each other, okay? I love you very much. Thank you.